quick questions for sure. you. Um, first of all, yes, yes, and no. <laughs> <laughs> um, what advice do you have for those at the beginning of their writing career, aspiring writers? Um, write, write some more, and then write a lot more, and write something that's authentic to you. Don't try and mimic anybody. Just write something that's in your own voice, that's in your experience, in your experience, but relatable. If it's too specific, it's not gonna help you. It needs to be relatable, but it's something that only you can write. Uh -huh. And keep writing, that, and don't stop writing. That, that would be it. Okay. Um, what can the industry do differently in order to grow? Are you talking about the Canadian industry? Mm, both. In order to grow, that's a really interesting question. I'm not sure it's about growing so much as it's about changing. Okay. Um, because I think in the US, the, the business is certainly big enough. Mm -hmm. But let's say television, broadcast television, I think is gonna be a thing of the past in five years or so. So being able to identify talent and look all over for talent, not just the way it's always been. The agent or the manager has to give them the material. And, and now it's happening because there's young agents and, and assistants who all they do is they go online all day long looking for new projects yeah. and new talent. Um, so it's being open and flexible. It's a, you know what, it's changing so quickly. If you're not flexible, you're not going to succeed. Does that answer your question? Yes. Definitely. Okay, my final question. Um, we all have mentors. Uh, these are the people who give us the hope, inspiration, and the drive to keep going. So who are the people who have been your mentors and why? That is really an interesting question. Um, my first boss, his name was Jim Hirsch, still is Jim Hirsch. He's, um, he is a writer-producer and he had me, as I said in my, in my presentation, he let me sit in on writing meetings, on casting meetings, on pitch meetings. He supported me all throughout my career. And there was a woman who was head of Fox Television. And when I left that small company and decided that I wanted a job at a network, I met with 30 people. I literally met with 30 people because it's a campaign. Mm -hmm. It's actually like war. You have to have a campaign. Mm -hmm. And she was the one that called me and said, there's a job at CBS, and I think you'd be great for it. And she and I have stayed friends, and she has been somebody who has supported me throughout my career. Andrea Bain. Awesome. Thank you so very much. Oh, you're welcome. It's a pleasure. Thank you. Hey. That's a wrap. Yeah, that's a okay. wrap. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Sandra.